When using the Zmodeler brush, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the Zmodeler poly menu. At the top, there is the Flip Faces action. When the Flip Faces action is selected, you'll see a series of targets in which you can use Flip Faces on. The Flip Face action will allow you to come through your model and flip faces on your actual mesh. Now this doesn't delete the face, but actually just flips the actual normals. So if I view the model from this side here, you'll see that I cannot see those faces, but if I start to rotate around the model, you'll see those faces are visible on the other side. Now one thing to watch out for when you're using this flip faces option is to make sure that over here under the tool menu, underneath display properties, that you do not have double turned on. Double will allow you to see both sides of a face as they're viewed on screen. So if you come through and start flipping faces, you're going to notice you're not going to see a change. So this may cause issues in your model if you need to generate items that are watertight or have non-manifold edges. Another good example of the flip faces option is to use the target of all polygons. This is specifically interesting when trying to generate shapes or inner dimensions to certain objects. So I have just a cylinder here, and if I turn off double, you can see that the normals are just facing outward. If I come through and do flip faces all polygons, it's going to flip the entire mesh's faces inward, giving me an inner surface to this geometry. I can then use this inner surface, along with QMesh, polygroup all, to generate an inner dimension to a cylinder object. This may be helpful when creating items such as tubes or cylindrical objects on your mesh to add greater detail and dimensions to your models.